It's actually been discovered through a scientist at the Waikato University, Dr. Molan, that some honeys have certain health factors. Particularly, the manuka has an active uh, factor in it, which he developed, and it has tremendous ability to fight bacteria. It had been discovered in the 1960s that the antibacterial activity of honey was due to hydrogen peroxide. The bees add an enzyme to the nectar they collect, and it's that that produces the hydrogen peroxide. But that didn't account for how one honey could be much better than another. And the possibility was that Manuka honey had something else in it. So we tested that by adding an enzyme to destroy the hydrogen peroxide. And we found that Manuka honey kept its full antibacterial activity, which meant it had something that wasn't hydrogen peroxide. And this very quickly got referred to as the non-peroxide activity. So we started testing all the types of bacteria which infect wounds. And what we found is an extremely broad spectrum of action. We haven't found any bacteria it doesn't work on. We've also tested it on these superbugs, the ones which are resistant to all antibiotics. And they are completely sensitive to Manuka honey. It works on those just the same as any other bacteria. And that's what caused a large amount of interest in the medical profession. My advice to consumers is to check with the company producing the honey, not with the retailer, uh, that the number rating the activity on there is rating non-peroxide activity. The values for Happy Valley Honey are integrity. Our customers rely on what's on that label and that we are true to label. In terms of our activity tests for our product as we label it as a 5 plus, 10 plus, 15 plus.